shortening. Hi, look at that leg. You see that? Right there. Very nice. <laughs> That's a good way to start the day. That's a good way to start the day. Show them some leg. That's what gets the views, right? We're here in Regina, Saskatchewan, Canada. Above Western North Dakota. Actually, Central North Dakota if you want to be all pow, pow, pow about it. These are my dogs. This is Sergeant. Hey, Sergeant, give me a salute. Give me a salute. Close enough. That's Diesel Weasel over there. It's Diesel Weasel, but we call him Diesel. It's a weasel named Diesel. Isn't that right, boy? Absolutely. They're quiet today because it's morning time. We're all still trying to wake up here. Thanks for joining us today. Today's going to be fun. We're headed across flatlands. Glad you joined us. As you can see, they got the little baby squeegees for me again. Thank goodness for Evan Evers who supplied me with this extendable squeegee. So no longer do I have to suffer the pains of climbing up on my truck to clean my windshield. Thank you, Evan. See how long that lasts before it's all covered in bugs again. Come on, pickup, you were there first. That pickup's got Arizona plates. How about that? Oh, but Saskatchewan plates on the back. Well, that's confusing. All right, onward. So you see what I mean about the bugs? Another one. It's almost like they aim for the part of the windshield directly in front of my camera. So to solve this problem, sometimes I put the camera out on the mirror. However, it doesn't take more than 30 seconds and they hit the lens on the mirror. Oh dear, we got a combine. What was I saying about combines yesterday? I don't like them. It means that summer is almost over. But I'm gonna have to stop and wash the windshield again because that's like, I, I, I'm sure you guys can't even see how. I'm just gonna leave the clip in there just to prove my point. What's up, farmer? How you doing? So this is the co-op in Mooseman. Timmy's is off to the left there. Stop here real quick, let the boys out. Continue on our way. Pretty much just stopped to wash the windshield. That was the main reason for the stuff. I've already got bugs on my window. Like, come on! Hasn't even been five minutes. Whatever. There's all these little butterflies, these little white butterflies. They're just crazy. I've seen a couple of trucks that their entire grill is clogged or blocked off by these little butterflies, so they have to get out and clean it out. Isn't that nuts? Look at little bales over there. Diesel, look at those bales! Yeah! He gets excited when he sees bales. You know why? Because cows! See? On the right there, cows! Where there's bales, there's cows. I just love these areas out in the prairies. Isn't that amazing? Like, no, this kind of stuff is normal for me. Like, this is what I grew up around in uh, the region that I that I live in, that I grew up in. Lots of farms everywhere. Farm tractors, air seeders, combines. I don't know how to use a lot of them. I've driven a lot of them. Those are fun to drive because they're just massive, right? And you just. You feel so powerful, you're like a tank. So that was definitely one of my better childhood memories. We used to live on a farm. Uh, it wasn't our farm, but uh, we lived on there and I helped them 
along in the farm when they needed help during harvest and seeding and whatnot. And yeah, great memories. They were actually my second cousins, third cousins, or related somewhere down the line. This isn't one of Manitoba's best roads. Not one of the ones we would say we were most proud of. But it's a road and hey, it's not gravel. And that was obviously the thoughts of whoever paved it. So I am in Southwest Manitoba. I have never been in this region of my own province. Isn't that something? Usually I go away from Manitoba. I don't spend a lot of time in Manitoba, but this is the Southwest corner along the Southern border of uh, Saskatchewan. Or, I mean the Southeast border of Saskatchewan. Southern border of Saskatchewan would be Montana and North Dakota. Back on the Trans-Canada. Uh, we're on the eastbound side. The westbound side is behind the trees off to the left there somewhere. This stretch of highway has always got a lot of wildlife, a lot of deer. I've driven through here, what, three times in the past week or so? I keep seeing deer pop out of everywhere, especially at night. We're here in uh, Headingley Flying J just outside of Winnipeg, and I knew this day would come. Fuel is 96.9 per liter here. What's interesting is, it's not showing it right now, but diesel exhaust fluid is 79.9. Diesel exhaust fluid is almost the same price as regular diesel. I knew that day was gonna come. I knew that was gonna happen. That's why I drive a truck. With no DEF, you just put fuel in it and go. You know, old school, the way it's supposed to be. And it's got just a bit of bugs on it as well. Home sweet messy home. Maybe this time we might get a little area cleaned up. I'm gonna stop promising and cleaning everything up because that's just not gonna happen, so. Slowly, one area at a time, and we'll get her all organized and whatnot. Is there a mosquito in my house? There's a mosquito in my house, how dare you? Great, now I'm gonna spend the whole evening chasing that thing down. So yeah, we're home. Welcome to my home. What are you doing in my house? It is so hot in here. Hot and humid, just <laughs> It's like you could just drink the air, just <laughs> Oh, so much moisture in the air. So I got all the windows open here right now. Uh, it's cooled off outside, so I'm gonna try to let that cool air in. And then before I go to bed, I'm gonna close all the windows to try to keep that cool air inside for when the sun comes up in the morning tomorrow. Little trick I, I learned over the summer. I don't have air conditioning, so. You know, it's only like one month out of the year that I actually need it, so it hasn't. Actually, I do have air conditioning. I have my portable air conditioner. And it's just after 10.30 p.m. Central Time. Thank you guys for watching, tagging along with me on this trip. Tomorrow we will be leaving towards Iowa, I believe. I'll be leaving in the afternoon or late in the day. I got mosquitoes chasing me everywhere. I'm going to have to chase them down and murder them. So I'm going to do that. You guys go click the links below, down to past vlogs of mine, to the store, whatever. There's mosquitoes everywhere. I gotta do some hunting. I'll see you tomorrow.